What's up, my pilots? Angry Launcher here. We're back playing Minecraft with Redstone. This episode's a little bit weird. I only actually have one thing that actually has Redstone in it that I want to show you. And it is this 4x4 piston door. It rhymes. I love it. It's good stuff. So, pressure plate activated. Opens right up so fast my graphics don't even stay caught up. And then it slams right shut behind you. Pretty darn quick. Actually, faster than even the graphical glitches are wanting to show. There you go, you saw all the action that time. And then it just whoop, pushes itself closed so quickly. Now, like most things in the gallery, I take zero credit for this design. Uh, I did not come up with it. This design is actually one... Now, in this case, I, I think the design was actually relatively original, and so I will make a note that the author was... Uh, the creator of this was CNB Minecraft, although... I suspect he took some inspiration from a couple other sources, and no one really uh, invents things on their own in Minecraft. Everyone uses other people's ideas at some point. But the reason I more specifically mentioned that it was CNB Minecraft, who uh, I got this design from, is that I'm not going to do a building tutorial or anything of this, just like I haven't of anything else in the gallery. I just wanted to put it in here so that the gallery would be more complete, because you can't have a redstone gallery without having a 4x4 piston door. That's like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. Name that game. So I figured I'd show it off, and there it is. It's good stuff. It's actually really quick, and the technology is not too big. Uh, I think proportional to the 3x3 door, it's actually pretty small. So it's, it's one of the smaller designs I could find, too. I think it might actually be the smallest one I saw. Uh, it's not the simplest, that's for damn sure. The interior in here is, takes advantage quite frequently of the fact that redstone signals will go up onto an upside-down half slab, but won't go down from an upside-down half slab. And that can make the design a bit uh, daunting to un try and understand at first, but it'll come through in the end. So there she is. It's pretty nice. Pretty big, even for... Considering a 4x4 door, it takes five blocks to hide it on this side. And I guess it's four if you don't count the actual door frame. And then four blocks over here, and then three blocks on top. So you had about, uh, what is that going to be, about 100 blocks square here that you have to have free in order to put a 3 4 by 4 door in. So it's going to take up quite a chunk of your wall if that's what you're putting it in. But if it's built into the side of a mountain, it really doesn't matter how much space it takes. And I should note that it goes all the way down to the bedrock in this world. So the door here is two blocks above the ground, and the stuff it, it goes underground uh, for three blocks. So there she is. That's all I'm going to say about it. If you want to see a building tutorial, you should look up CNB Minecraft's video of uh, how to make it. He's got a pretty decent video of how to actually build it, which is nice. So that's that for that. Now, I want to talk about something else. This is something that piqued my interest, and I, I did a little bit of original research here. So, no Wikipedia article on this nonsense. I was thinking, we know we build all kinds of different shapes in Minecraft, and uh, it's everybody builds squares. You know, you, you you get a bunch of dirt and you make your first house, and you're gonna make it a rectangle. It's gonna be somewhat like a square. I mean, that's just sort of the natural thing to do when you're given a bunch of cubes. You make things that are shaped like cubes. And then some people get creative, and it's like, oh well, I don't want to live in a cube house, or I want to have a dome on top. And and then we learn how to make circles. And I'm I'm probably gonna do a little feature on circles eventually, but they're they're not too complicated, honestly. Uh, they're a little more complicated than what I'm doing here, but so cir circles are just sort of the next logical step. It's like I want things to be round, but really I feel like it's not the next logical step. I feel like we skipped a couple, actually quite a few, and inf infinitely many actually. Um, for one thing, nobody tries to build in triangles. Uh, <laughs> it's just I guess I don't know if they're very, very I don't know what the reason for that is, but even more rare, no one seems to build in hexagons. I saw a picture uh, online just the other day. And it was a, a Minecraft render, and someone had built this amazing tower, uh, but it was a relatively standard wizard's tower kind of build, you know, cobblestone with wood roof and all that stuff. The kind of thing you'd expect to see in a Minecraft build, but the one thing that stood out to me is that the tower was a hexagon. It, was, it had six sides, and the different uh, branches that came out of it all had six sides. And I was like, wow, you know, I'd never have tried to make a hexagon in Minecraft. I'd never tried to make anything with six sides. And so I sat down and did a little math and tried to figure out, okay, well, how, how much should I, uh, how, how should I make a hexagon? 
it's like, okay, well, easy enough, right? It's going to have six sides, and they're in parallel pairs. So this side here, and then this side over here, they're parallel. So they're just both going to be straight lines with the blocks on the ground. So that makes sense. That's pretty easy. So we'll get those out of the way. And then I was trying to think, well, in order for this to be a real hexagon, uh, this the angle, I'll try and show it, between this side and this side, the angle in here, needs to be 120 degrees. So I was like, okay, uh, well, if I want a 120 degree angle, how, how, how do I get that, th this side to be at the right angle? And I, I thought about it for a while and was like, well, you know, let's see, da, da, da. I'm trying to, get, trying to get the math right. And basically, in order to get a, a 120 degree angle here, the right number of blocks to go over is three, three over and two up, because that's the uh, three halves angle here, which means that this is 30 degrees from 90, which gives it 120 total. I won't go into the geometry really, but basically what I was what I was thinking is, okay, I'm going to put a side length here, and it's going to go at a 33 or a 30 degree angle over here, and then it's going to bend and go over there again, another 120 degree angle in between these. And then if I do that six times, I get I get a bunch of these angles coming together, and eventually it comes around and it meets where I started, and it was like, okay, and this was the result. And so the, the pattern that I found in order to get the angles right is that if you have one side that's going straight across, then in order to get the angle right, you have to go, um, basically, I was thinking of it uh, as a knight's move plus a diagonal. So it's like, if this were a chessboard, a knight would move two forward and one over. So it would be there, and then plus a diagonal is just diagonal to that. You can also think of it as just having these two blocks in between. So you could put one, two, and then there again where these blocks that I just took out are sort of approximations, but these are actually right on, right on the line. But of course, in order to get, have a wall or to build actually build something shaped like this, you have to fill it in, and I think this is the best way to fill it in. So, I built that, and this first one is 11 blocks, I believe, on an edge, and I, the, whole, uh, the whole idea was that all the six sides should be the same length to get a, a regular-looking hexagon, and then... Uh, so I just tried to measure how long this would be with a little Pythagorean theorem, and then made this side as close as I could, up to up to one block, basically. There's no rounding with blocks, without mods at least. And so I was like, okay, well I got about 11 blocks distance there, about 11 blocks distance there, and then I got 11 blocks here. Okay, cool. And then I zoom out, and I put a bunch of them together, and it's like, they don't look like hexagons. <laughs> like they just don't look like hexagons. They're they're not quite like if you know what like exactly what a like a honeycomb is supposed to look like, you can tell that these are kind of kind of a little short and fat. They're a little bit too wide and not quite as tall as they should be. So it's just not quite there. And so I was like, oh, what's going on here? Like I got the angles right. What am I missing? And it's just that the the resolution's too poor. Basically, uh, it, when you've only got this this size blocks, you have to go bigger in order for it to actually start to look right. And when you do it this small, it's like, well, you can't even tell what it is. And just to, to give an example, if I wanted to make a circle that had a diameter of three blocks, the best I could do is this, which is like exactly a square. And it's like, what? But if I wanted to make a circle that had diameter of five blocks, I could go more, this might be larger than five, I'm not sure. Oh, where did I screw up? Over there. Please stand by. Name that game. Same one as earlier. There we go. So if I have a circle with a, I guess, not nine block diameter, it looks a lot more like a circle and a lot less like a square. You know, it sort of stays the same shape as you turn. So I thought, okay, well, maybe that same thing, I, I bet that's going to apply to hexagons too. And so I said, all right, well, let's just zoom out a bit. Let's make it bigger. And so that's what I did. I went over here and I made it 18 blocks instead of 11. And I found that these, once I get the angle just right, these look a bit better. They're still a little bit, a little bit not right. And I'm not sure why, because they're almost exactly the same length. Like, these diagonal edges are like 18.08 blocks long or something like that. And the edge here is exactly 18, so they're really close. But it's like, basically, they should look the same no matter which way you turn it. But right now, that's just not the case. So I'm thinking maybe I'll make this edge a little bit shorter when I actually build something with it. We'll see how that looks. So this is just my foray into hexagons in Minecraft. And what I'd like to attempt to do now on film 
is is fall to the ground and cough my freaking lungs up. All right, so what I'd like to do now is try to actually build something with this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and build a three-dimensional version of this, and we'll we'll see if I can pull it off. Let me count how many I need here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. So that's one, two, three. There's four. Dun, dun, five. Dun, dun, six. Okay, we're not going to get too close over there. That's good. So there's the first edge. So one, two, three, four, five, and that should be six because I already had one. There we go. Now I'm going to make these 17 blocks this time. So that's two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I like to count by fives because it makes it easier than to try and just get the pattern down right rather than uh, trying to actually count to 17 and then if you miss a block you have to go back. It's just easier to remember where you were if you're only at five. I'm doing the pattern right here, aren't I? Okay. And there. Okay. And we'll just fill this in. There seems to be no convenient speed at which you can fill in a row of blocks like that. It's like it's either too fast or too slow. So how does that look? Well, that looks a little bit more hexagonal than those two because it's, it's one block it's one block less fat this way. I think that's an improvement. So I'm going to stick with that design. I like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to be the same shape but vertically across the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up 17 blocks. So two, oh gosh, one, two, three, four, five, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, Five. And we'll make this a square. We'll see if I can get the. Uh, where's my magic, my magic wand? I can use to change things. Here we go. I love this thing. This is so cool. Just mark it there, and then, then I don't know what the code for spruce wood is. I'm gonna guess three. Nope. It's not three. It's probably four. No, it's not four either. I feel stupid. Well, it's what is it? One? Why would spruce be one? Spruce should be something, anything other than one, because it's, it's not it's not oak. That's weird. Anyway, so that's 17 by 17 there, and I'm going to make this side the same. Oh, one, so that's two. One, two, three, four, five. 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 I had to put an extra block, because it, it always breaks that first one, because I'm in creative mode. There we go. Set wood number one. Okay, so that's that. So there's, there's the sides, now I'm going to put the roof on, because I want to see how this looks when you do it horizontally. So we'll go over like this, try to get the pattern right here. It's a little bit tougher when you're doing it vertically. It should be easy to tell if we're matching what's going on on the sides, though. I think that should be the top there. Nope, one more. One more, one more repeat of that pattern. There we go. So it's the same thing I did on the ground, except now I'm doing it vertically. And I should have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, I do. Great. We'll do that. And then I'm going to continue in this way. Making constantly making mistakes here. My hand is shaking because I did a bunch of writing earlier. That always throws me off. It's killing my gaming skills, man. So I'm interested. I have not tried this yet. This is my first attempt at building this kind of structure. And so I'm curious to see how it turns out. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to use copy-paste to get the rest of these. Oops, I should get in the right place for this. Let's do it right. I'll do it here. Hang on, let me make this really easy for myself. I'm going to put a ledge down. Doink. You got it. Yeah, if you don't use two uh, single-player commands, you're missing out, man. There's so many great things you can do. Copy from there. Hello, did it set? Copy that position, dang it. There we go. Copy from there to over here. Thank you. Now I can just paste that. So let me first. I have to. So I selected it, and now I do copy. And then when I step over here, I can do paste unknown command. Oh, it should be two slashes. Boom. Oh, why didn't it work? Oh, I didn't do it up. What am I? That's dumb. Okay, let me get this right. <laughs> Hang on a second here. Let me straighten this out. I'm going to have to paste some extra blocks down. That's okay. There we go. I'll set a second position to up here instead so that I actually 
It's nice, it doesn't reset properly. There we go. I'll set the second position up top to there so that it actually highlights the whole thing, not just the bottom row, because it selects a square, basically. Okay, I'll land here. So, copy, and then when I do uh, paste, it should put the whole thing in. Okay, great. That'll make this easier. Paste. <laughs> Hooray! Better than having to build the damn thing all the way across. It's not as much fun to watch in the video, is it? And it all pastes relative to where you are. That's why I put this ledge down. It keeps me from having to copy-paste from like a different angle or something each time. Get out of here! There we go. Now there should be an extra bunch of blocks up here from where I just had a border. Be gone! Be gone! Alright, cool. So now, I guess the logical thing to do would be to pick these sides up 17 blocks each, and uh... I'm going to copy-paste that, too, because I'm lazy. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Boom. And then I'll come down here. Copy. Get a little closer. Copy that one. Copy! So now when I now when I paste, it should put the stack all the way up. Yes, it does. Okay, great. Uh -huh. All right, I'm going to come back when I'm done putting the sides on this thing. Man, you gotta love the new command interface here at the the little the fact that you can actually type in like and use Unix shortcuts like pushing up to go to your previous lines. I love that. Uh, I, I I think it would as a, as a Unix shortcut at least. I don't know what they intended it as. All right, so now now the question becomes: How do we connect these up? How do we get this to look? How do we get it to look right? Because I've, I've already sort of deviated from the hexagonal pattern here. Because you can't... I don't think you can make a regular... Well, let me think about that for a second. No, I'm, I'm sure that there's a, a solid that uses... Well, no, there wouldn't be a solid that uses hexagons because... Or only hexagons. I know you can do it with half pentagons, half hexagons, but with only hexagons, you wouldn't be able to, to make a three-dimensional solid with hexagonal faces. Because they wouldn't... Uh, they wouldn't bend properly. When you put six around the edges, they'd all be flat. It would be forced to be flat. Okay, so this is, is just a matter of taste now. So I think I'm going to do these lines straight, uh, I guess straight diagonally, like a 45 degree angle ways, and just go straight from from one thing to the next and try and get rid of all the stupid blocks I have to place in between. So I'll just fill in this edge, and we'll see how it looks when I'm done. I think it might be interesting. I'm really more interested in seeing what it looks like on the inside because the whole idea is that I, I want to perceive it as being a hexagon while I'm inside. Because from the outside, it doesn't really matter what it, what shape the building is. Ah, This is going to take a while, because I'm going to keep putting blocks in the wrong places. And then every other time, I get to do two of them. It's great. Save me some time. I think this is going to end up looking cool. Alright, well, I'm, I'm going to continue this pattern of just doing... We're just connecting these two edges. Now I will come back when I have finished. Alrighty then. That is that. Just finished it off. That took way longer than it should have. Did not expect it to take so so freaking I love the light the light seepage in 1.3. It seems like it's gotten worse. Okay, so I finished both sides. Let me just Ah, dang it. Oh, no, I can't get rid of that block. Hang on now. Ugh. There we go. Let me just torchify this in the first logical way I can think of here. Just put them on every other block down there, and every third block up here. Should look good, hopefully. Alright, so that's enough, that's enough for now. So, this is the interior. I guess I could... Let's try to make it a little brighter down here. Doo -doo -doo. No pattern here, I'm just putting dirters down. There we go, alright, cool. That's bright enough. Yeah, I like it. I like it. The inside looks dandy. I could totally get used to living inside hexagons. I'm thinking that the next uh, world I do in Minecraft, I'm going to do a world with hexagons instead of squares. I'm going to try and build everything in hexagons. 
and see if I can pull it off. But yeah, here's sort of my just concept brought to life in terms of hexagons in Minecraft. So if you're at all interested in trying out and building something like this for yourself, maybe it's just a little novel concept, you're tired of building the same old square and circular things, try and build something with hexagons and a nice angled roof like this. It's not a difficult pattern to follow, really, I don't think, but the uh, world download will be in the description. So uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Minecraft with some redstone.